back to my channel. My name is Maham and I crochet cute things. You can find some of my free patterns and written versions of my YouTube tutorials posted over here. And if you like my work and want to support me with donations or purchase some of my special copy patterns, you can do that over here. Starting from today, I'm going to be posting Valentine's Day projects. Today, we're going to be making this adorable little heart keychain and I'm going to be showing you how to crochet and design your own heart shaped bags in any size that you like. In the first part of the video, I'm going to be explaining the method of how to make the bag so that as you're following the steps in this tutorial or the written pattern, you're able to adjust and modify the pattern to make it any size and design that you want. But before I start explaining the method, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is easily my all-time favorite learning platform. There are thousands of classes on Skillshare that range from a lot of different skills and categories. There's arts and crafts, graphic design, marketing, and crochet as well, just to name a few. What I love about Skillshare is that it's perfect for content creators like myself. There are lots of different classes by creators who are in the know and are already successful in that field. I joined Skillshare during a time where I felt really overwhelmed when it came to anything crochet related. I feel like I was just really unprepared to handle all the things that come with content creation. And that's when I came across Ali Abdal's Notion Masterclass on Skillshare. So I'm gonna play you guys a snippet from his class that I really connected to on his super personal level, just to help you guys get an idea of how the classes on Skillshare from people who are already successful in the field, how they can help you progress further in your creative journey. Here we go. We all have this endless list of tasks and projects and things to think about, and it can get pretty overwhelming. To be honest, for a long time, I felt like my life was a complete mess. So. I just had this list of things that I wanted to create, all the things I wanted to do with my content that just kept going on and on and on. So this was my notion before the masterclass and this is my notion now. It's super organized and I know that I can go about creating without being worried about all the organizational fluff. Here are a few more classes that I've joined. I'm doing this YouTube success class to improve the quality of my videos. And I'm doing this beginner's guide to creative blogging class. It's really good. It's helped me set up a platform for my blogs and it's gotten me started on writing prompts. So once you're ready to start your creative journey to progress further on the journey that you're in right now or to learn a new skill, you can get one free month of Skillshare membership by joining Skillshare through the link in the description box. For the heart bag, I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook and 100% acrylic yarn. You can use any yarn size, any hook size that you want, but then the size of your bag will differ from mine. But don't be worried, use whatever you have and you can always do more rounds to make it the size that you want or less rounds to make it the size that you want. I have written patterns on my blog and you'll be able to make the heart shape from rounds 1 to 12. You can do six to nine rounds for a smaller piece or more than nine rounds for a larger piece. You're gonna be making two heart pieces with the exact same number of rounds and then you're gonna be making your strap piece and then of course comes the decoration, whether you wanna add ribbons on the side, which I'm gonna show you how to, or you just wanna add a keychain or leave it plain. We're going to start off by making a slip knot. To do this, you wrap your yarn around your fingers, making sort of like an X shape and then you grab this end over here and just tighten to get your slip knot. Now we're gonna be making the base of our work with the foundation chain. So you're gonna be chaining eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure that your chains are tight and not too loose. And now we're going to be inserting a double crochet into the third chain from our hook. So that's our first, second, and third. So yarn over, go into that third chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that is your double crochet. Insert a double crochet into the next chain as well. So not this one, that's the one that you just worked into, into the next one over here, and just do another double crochet. Now in the next two chains, this one and this one, we're gonna be inserting three double crochets in the same chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, that's our first double crochet. Yarn over in that same place. You're gonna be inserting your second double crochet. Yarn over in that same chain. You're gonna be inserting your third double crochet. So the pattern would read three DC X two, which means you're gonna be putting three double crochets in the same chain. And you're gonna do this two times. That means in the next two chains 
or stitches. So in my next chain, I'm also inserting three double crochets in that same place. And now in the next chain, we're going to be doing one double crochet. And in this last chain over here, we're going to be inserting four double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four. So that's your work. And now we're going to be turning it to this side. And in that same place where you just inserted four double crochets, you're going to be inserting three more double crochets in that same chain, but on the other side. So I'm going to do one, two, and three. It's completely normal for your work to have holes in it during this stage. And it's also normal for your work to curl like this. That's completely fine. And now in the next four chains, so this one, this one, this one, and that one over there, we're going to be double crocheting them together. So to double crochet four together, you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into that first chain, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, but don't complete the double crochet. Instead, yarn over again, go into the next chain, and as you can see, I'm also working over this end over here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, but do not complete the double crochet. Instead, go into the next chain. So we're going into our third chain right now. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, but don't complete the double crochet. We're going to do this one more time for our fourth chain. So this is us double crocheting four stitches together. So you go through two. And now at the end of this, you should have five loops on your hook. And if you've got five loops on your hook, then you're on the right track. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all five of these. And that is how you double crochet four together. And now we're going to be inserting six double crochets in this last chain over here. So when the pattern has the number before the stitch, for example, 6DC, that means that you have to insert that many stitches into the same stitch. So 6DC is basically inserting six double crochets in the same place. But when the number comes afterwards, for example, if it says 6DC X2, that means you have to insert six double crochets in the same stitch for the next two stitches. So over here, I'm just inserting six double crochets into that last chain. And please make sure that you're inserting your hook in the same place and not accidentally going to any other chain. Here's the tricky part. You have to identify which stitch is basically the very first double crochet that you made. So the way that I can tell is I'm just gonna stretch this out and see if it has like a stitch attached to it, but it doesn't. This stitch is attached to this stitch over here, if that makes sense. So I can tell that this is probably a chain, um, one of the two chains that we left at the beginning when we were doing our first double crochet. And this must be our very first double crochet. Hopefully that makes sense. So look at that over there. So you're going to be inserting your hook into that very first double crochet. And you're going to be making a slip stitch by sliding one loop through both the loops like that. And that basically ends our round one. We'll be starting round two. We always start our rounds in the same place where we inserted a slip stitch. And what this does is just makes everything really tight and stops any holes from forming. So we're going to be starting round two by inserting two half double crochets in the same place where you just slip stitched. So go into that same stitch and insert two half double crochets to half double crochet you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook like that. And now in the next four stitches, we're going to be inserting one half double crochet. So the pattern would say one HDCX4, that means one half double crochet in the next four stitches. And now in the next stitch, we have to insert three double crochets. So to double crochet yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to be doing three of these in the same stitch. 
I'm sorry if I'm putting a lot of emphasis on some of these parts of the pattern. I just want to make sure that it's easily understandable by you guys and so you don't get stuck anywhere. Now, next we have to insert one half double crochet in the next four stitches. So just one in each stitch four times. Three and four. Next, we're going to be doing two HDC X2, which basically means you're going to be inserting two half double crochets in the same stitch for the next two stitches. So over here, I've inserted two half double crochets in the same stitch. I'm going to go into the next one and insert two half double crochets in that same stitch as well. And now we're going to be doing three half double crochets in the next two stitches. So you're going to be inserting three half double crochets in the same stitch two times. Our next two stitches. So that was my first three double crochets, and my second. And now in the next stitch, we're going to be inserting two half double crochets. So we're only going to do this once because there's no X that tells us how many times to do it. So you just do it once because it says two HDC. And now in the next stitch, we're going to be doing one single crochet. To single crochet, you insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook like that. So that's a single crochet. And now we're going to be single crocheting two together. So to single crochet two together, you insert your hook, pull up a loop, but don't complete the single crochet. Instead, make sure you're keeping this tight. Go into the next stitch as well, pull up a loop, and once you have three loops on your hook, that's when you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops like that. And what this does is it creates that little tight part, which brings your heart inwards like that. So this part's really important. Make sure you're keeping it tight. Don't make it loose. Now in the next stitch, we're going to be inserting one single crochet and then two half double crochets in the same stitch. And now we're going to be repeating the same pattern that we did over here. So we're going to be doing three half double crochets in the next two stitches. So three half double crochets in the same stitch two times. That was my first. And I'm going to do my second over here. Here's another part that you need to be careful of. So we've got just one more stitch left where we are going to be inserting two half double crochets in the same stitch. So let's do that. And now here's the part where you shouldn't get confused. But basically this stitch over here that you see right over there, this one, is not actually a stitch that counts towards your round. Sorry about that. This is your slip stitch that you did in the previous round. So it doesn't count as one of the stitches that we're going to be working into during our rounds. And you're going to have this little um, phantom stitch in all of the rounds. And you're just going to ignore that. Instead, you're going to go into the very first half double crochet that you did. So see, that's your very first half double crochet that you made in the beginning of the round. That's the one that you're going to go into. So completely ignore the slip stitch. Oops, sorry about that. Go into the very first half double crochet you made at the round and slip stitch again to connect the rounds together. Now, what you could do is you could get a bobby pin and you could mark the very first stitches of your round so you don't get confused. So starting off round three, you're going to yarn over, go into that same place where you just slip stitched and insert one half double crochet. And we're going to be inserting one half double crochet in the next six stitches as well. So this is what I meant about the bobby pin. Once you've done your first stitch of the round, you could just put a bobby pin in it like that to mark it so you don't get confused about which one is your first stitch. So now I'm going to be doing one half double crochet in the next six stitches. So here I've done seven half double crochets starting from the very first stitch to this one over here, that's seven. And now in the next stitch, we're going to be inserting two double crochets in the next two stitches. So you're going to be doing two double crochets in the same stitch. And you're going to do this in the next stitch as well because you have to do it two times. And now we're going to be inserting one half double crochet in the next eight stitches. So I've got eight half double crochets and now we're going to be inserting two half double crochets in the next eight stitches. Sorry, six stitches. This basically means that you're going to be inserting 
two half double crochets in the same stitch six times. So in the next six stitches, that's what you're going to be doing. Stitch count is very important for this project, so please make sure that you made sure that you did six with two half double crochets each. So we're going to move on and we're going to be doing one single crochet in the next two stitches. And I'm just going to remove this bobby pin because it's making a lot of noise. Um, so yeah, one single crochet, one single crochet, that was two times. And now in the next two stitches, we are going to be single crocheting four together, sorry. So in the next four stitches. So this one, this one, this one, and this one, we're going to be single crocheting them together like that. So to do that, you're going to insert your hook, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and finally the fourth one, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. And make sure you keep all of these really, really tight. And once you've got five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all five of them. Make sure you're keeping everything tight. Now you're going to be inserting one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. And by keeping everything really, really tight, you're going to start seeing this like curved part of the hearts forming. So in all the places where we do double crochet, that's the pointy part. And the places where we do the single crochets two or four together, those are the curved parts of the heart. Now we're just going to be repeating the pattern that we did on the other side. And we're going to be doing two half double crochets in the same stitch for the next six stitches. And after doing this, you should have just one stitch left. And then again, this is your phantom stitch, the slip stitch that you're not going to be counting at all. And then this is your very first stitch that we're going to be going into. So now in this one stitch that's left over here, you're just going to do one half double crochet. And then you're done with round three as well. So don't go into that phantom stitch. Go into the very first half double crochet that you made in the beginning of the round and slip stitch over there. And now we're going to be starting round four, but starting round four, we're going to be doing one half double crochet in the next nine stitches, starting from the stitch where you just did your slip stitch. So go into that same stitch. Be careful, it is the same one. And insert a half double crochet, just one. And then if you want, you could get your bobby pin and you could place it right over there to mark the very first stitch. Once you're done doing nine of these, you're going to be doing three double crochets in the next stitch. So all three of them are going to be in the same stitch. Once you're done with that, you're going to be doing one half double crochet in the next 12 stitches over here. So once again, when we reach this part, make sure that you just make it super tight and then you're going to keep getting this heart shape. If you make your stitches too loose, then your heart might be wobbly and not look as good. Next few stitches, we're going to be repeating a pattern. And the pattern is going to be two half double crochets in the same stitch, one half double crochet. Two half double crochets in the same stitch, one half double crochet. And you're going to repeat this four times. So I'm going to start and do this one time first. So you're going to do two double crochets, sorry, two half double crochets in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch, just one half double crochet. So I've done the pattern one time. I'm going to do it the second time. So two half double crochets in the same stitch. Oops, sorry. And then one half double crochet in the next stitch. So now I've done the pattern two times and we're going to do this two more times to make a total of four. So two half double crochets, one half double crochet, I've done five three times, one time, two half double crochets in the same stitch, and then one half double crochet. So that's how it works. And the pattern would have the pattern that you need to repeat in asterisks, the little star-like things. And then next to it, it would say X four times four, which basically means repeat this pattern four times. And that's how you do it. And these are increases that give your heart that like rounded curved edge. Now we're going to be doing two single crochets in the same stitch. So one and two. And now we're going to be doing one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and in the next stitch two. 
Now we're going to be single crocheting two stitches together. So this one over here and that one. So you're going to go into that, pull up a loop, go into the next one, make sure you're keeping everything nice and tight, and then yarn over and pull through the loops on your hook. In the next two stitches, you're going to be inserting one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to be putting two single crochets in the same stitch. And now it's time to repeat the same pattern that we did over here, but this time we're just gonna switch what we do first. So instead of doing the two half double crochets in the same stitch first, we're gonna do one half double crochet. So here's the pattern, one half double crochet, and then two half double crochets in the same stitch. And you're gonna repeat this four times. Here I finished doing the pattern four times. You should have three stitches left, not counting your phantom stitch over here. Now in the next three stitches, we're going to be inserting one half double crochet and three. And now to end this round, we are going to be slip stitching into the very first stitch that we did. So this one, not that over there, this one over here, go into it and slip stitch like that. So here are the finished pieces. This one is from round one to six. It is slightly smaller than my hand. And this one can fit my phone pretty comfortably. It is the size of my hand and it is from round one to nine. I forgot to film what I was doing when I fastened off and I quickly made a scrap piece to show you. So let's pretend this is the heart and I'm done doing the rounds. When you're ready to end your work, you're just going to slip stitch into the very first stitch like normal and then you're going to follow the steps that i'm going to show you to fasten off after you've slip stitched into the first stitch in the same way that we end the round you're just going to chain two you can even chain one but if you want it to be extra secure chain two and then you're going to take your scissor cut and then pull this up like that and then you're going to tighten it into a knot. In the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to make the piece that will run along the sides of your heart bag. And for this one over here, I'm going to make a really long piece so that the piece can go all around my bag and make the strap and then go back over here. But for the other one, the side piece is going to be a bit shorter because I only want it to be attached to the sides of my heart bag, but not make a strap with it. So both these methods will follow the same steps. You're just going to change how long they are. Now the size, the width, the length of the strap piece is completely up to you, but you're going to start off by making a slip knot. And now you're going to chain the width that you want for your piece. So the width is basically the thickness of the piece. So I'm gonna be chaining for my smaller bag, I'm gonna be chaining three and then for the pink bag the larger one i'm going to be chaining four so chain the width that you want for your strap piece once you're done you're going to be doing your turning chain which doesn't count as a stitch it's just going to help you start a new row and now you're going to be inserting your stitches into the three chains or whatever number of chains that you did i'm going to be using half double crochets for this that's my favorite stitch and it works up pretty quickly but you can use single crochets, you can use double crochets, it's completely up to you. Um, I don't recommend using single crochets because that will take very long. But I really like half double crochets, so that is what I'm doing. I inserted one half double crochet in each of the three chains. And then to start a new row, you're going to do your turning chain again, turn your work. And now you're going to insert your hook into the very first stitch. So this chain one doesn't count as a stitch. These are your stitches, one, two, and three. So I'm just gonna be inserting one half double crochet in each of them. And that's all. So depending on how many chains you did, how many stitches you want, what width you want, just do rows of whatever stitch you wanna do. I'm doing half double crochets. So I chained one, that's my turning chain, turn my work, and now I'm just gonna keep doing rows of half double crochet until my strap piece is as long as I want it to be. So here's what I mean about wrapping the piece around your heart. You basically have to make it long enough to start from one end, make the strap, and then go all the way back over here, and then we're gonna connect it. Once you have the length that you want, you're going to be joining the two pieces together. 
So in your very last row, don't chain one, just do your stitch and then leave it like that. And then you're going to get the other end and you're going to be putting the two pieces together. When you have your pieces all lined up, you're going to take your hook and you're going to put it through the edge of the other piece and then pull up a loop and slide it through both like that. And then you're going to turn your work. So turn your work to the other side and you're going to join these sides together. So you're going to insert your hook. Sorry, this might be a bit confusing, but basically I'm going to insert my hook through one of the pieces like that go through the other piece and then pull it through the loops on my hook like that. So let's do it one more time. So go into the next space over here and then the other piece and pull it through. And that's basically how it's just going to be joined together like that. Once you're done, you're just going to fasten off. So you chain one, chain two, and then you cut and pull. And now we're gonna be attaching our strap piece to our hearts. For this part, please get some bobby pins and place them in the stitch to mark the part where you want your piece to basically stop being joined to the heart. I'm gonna join all around, but when I reach this bobby pin over here, I'm just gonna stop joining and then this part will be my strap. There are many different ways to join crochet pieces together. I like using slip stitches around the sides to join my pieces together, but you can pick any method that you like. They have different ways that they look, different end results they give. But here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to be making sure that this bottom part over here is near the corner of my heart like that. And then I'm just going to line it up, not being too stressed about whether it's aligned perfectly. And I'm going to remove my bobby pin and I'm going to insert my hook through the side of the strap as well as this loop over here. So let me show you one more time. So you're going to be inserting your hook through the strap piece and then you're going to be inserting your hook through the back loop of your heart. And you're going to get the yarn that you want to use and you're going to make a little loop with it like that. And then you're going to slide your hook through both the pieces. Then you're going to chain one like that. And now we're going to be slip stitching all around. So to do this, you're just going to tuck in your end inside. And I hope this is clear, but you're basically going to insert your hook through the strap piece, through the edge of the strap piece, and then through the back loop of your heart piece. And then you're going to pull through all of the loops on your hook like that. So one more time, the edge of your strap piece, there's no specific place you have to go in, just whatever is there on the edge. And then the back loop of your heart piece, it's so just one loop. And then you pull through all of the loops on your hook one more time. So strap piece, back loop and slip stitch. Once you're done with that side, you can turn your work around and then you can get your other piece, mark the areas and then find the place where you want to attach it. And then you're going to be repeating the same steps as before where you're just going to insert your hook into the stitches and slip stitch it together. Once you're done, you can chain one, two to fasten off and just cut your yarn and then you're done with this bag. For the other bag, I did the same thing and I followed the same steps for the strap piece and now I'm going to be attaching it on the sides only so I'm not going to be making a strap with it. I'm going to attach it along the sides like that. When you're done joining your pieces together, this is what it should look like. You should have empty open space over here where you can put your things through and now I'm going to be showing you how to make the strap. Now for the strap, you can use any stitch you want. I'm going to be using half double crochets. You can make it as wide as you want and as long as you want. It's completely up to you. I've zoomed in a little bit just to show you what I'm going to do more clearly, but basically I'm going to be working into four stitches. So I'm going to be working into one, two, three, and four, and that's going to be the width of my strap. And I'm going to be attaching my yarn into the back loops. So the, this is the front of your stitch. And then if you turn it this way, you're going to see that you've got 
the back of your stitch over here. So I'm going to insert my hook through the back stitch as well as the back loop of the front stitch. And now you're going to get the yarn that you want to use and you're going to make a little loop with it just like what we did for the slip stitch. And you're going to slide it through like that. And then you can chain one to secure it in place like that. I'm sorry, I'm just going to zoom out. And in that same place where you just did your chain one, you're going to be inserting your first stitch. I'm using half double crochets, so I'm going to insert a half double crochet. And then make sure you're only going through the two back loops and not the front loop as well. So do as many stitches as you want to make the strap as wide as you want it to be. I'm doing just four. And once you get past this part, the rest of it is super easy and it works up pretty quickly too. Okay, so that is my first row. And then to start a new row, you're gonna chain one. You're gonna turn your work, just like how we normally do rows of crochet. And then you're going to have four stitches. So you're gonna be inserting one half double crochet in each of those four stitches. Once you're done making the strap as long as you want it to be, you can just chain one, chain two, and then cut your yarn to fasten it off. And now we're going to be attaching it to the other side of your bag. Now you're basically going to hold up your piece like this. Make sure that it's aligned to where you want to join it. And then you're going to start attaching. So you're going to go into the back loops and then the loop on the other piece so make sure it's only one little loop and then you're going to take your yarn the one that you want to attach it with i would recommend the same color pull it through and then you can chain one tighten it and now you're just going to slip stitch so you're going to grab i'm sorry if the camera is blurry so over here back loops only not the front loop and i'm going to show you why not the front loop at the end and then over here you're going to have your front loop and then you're going to have your back loop so you're going to go through the back loop like that it's going to be a bit tricky there's going to be lots of ends to maneuver around and then you just slip stitch so once you've done it till the end and you turn it back around, you're going to see this really neat edge over here that looks pretty similar to that side over there. And then you can weave in all your ends to make your work even neater. But this is basically how the strap is going to go. You're going to do this on both sides and there we go. The steps that I'm going to show you, you have to repeat them on both sides, once on this side and then once on the other. You're going to need a ribbon. I had a really thick ribbon that I cut in half and I would recommend that you not do this because it is going to fall apart. You're going to need your hook for this. You're going to take one end of your ribbon and first you're going to slide your hook through the stitches on the side of your bag, like so. And then you're going to pull the ribbon through with your hook like that just to get it in place and then you're going to do the same on the other side so make sure they're aligned the stitch that you go through you've got it on the other side as well you're going to do the same thing and you're going to pull your ribbon through the stitch like that and then gently just pull it all out and then you're going to pull the ribbons until they both align or are the same lengths so I'm just going to pull until both these ends are the same length. So I'm just going to show you. So pull, 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 pull until they're the same. So this one should be the same length as that. So I'm just going to hold them together like this with the ends connecting. And then I'm just going to pull to make them equal. Once that's done, you're going to start making the X shape. And to do this, you have to wrap your ribbon across each other like that. And you're just going to keep crossing them on top of each other until you reach the top over there. And so to do this, you're going to insert your hook through the stitches on the side. 
and then just slide the ribbon through and that's all there is to it you're just inserting your hook through a stitch and then sliding your ribbon through it to get it to look however you want to and then do the same on the other side so we're gonna pull this through make sure that the stitches you choose line up and then just slide your ribbon through it and don't worry about all these extra pieces that you see here I'm gonna cut them off later make sure that your ribbons aren't too tight so make them loose otherwise your strap will get pulled really close together and so that's all i did i just kept making x's all the way up basically once you're done making the x's all around your straps you're going to be tying them into a bow or you could also fasten them off but i'm just going to tie them into a bow so to do that you're just going to make a knot so you're going to cross the ribbon pieces and you're going to pull it up so just a regular knot Make it tight but not too tight and then you're gonna make a bow this is how i make a bow I make a little loop i wrap around it i grab it and pull and once you're done with that you just adjust the bow to make it to your liking how big you want it to be or how small you want it to be in this part of the video i'm going to show you how i made the heart keychain starting with how i made the small heart piece then i'll show you the steps for how to crochet wings on the side of your heart and how to attach it to a key ring to turn it into a keychain so to make the heart piece, I followed this class on Skillshare. However, if you've never done Amigurumi before, I would recommend that you start off with this class. That's the class I joined when I made these stuffed toys that I recently posted on my Instagram stories. Here's a reminder that you can access the one month free Skillshare membership from the link in the description box and crochet this heart keychain with me. It's literally 6 a.m., but look how cute these two are. I'm going to go to the next part of the class and then see how I can join them together to make the heart shape. Here's a little tip for when you're using the Skillshare class to make the heart. You can go over to transcript and that will give you sort of like a written pattern to refer to while you're crocheting. Over here, I'm adding some stuffing. If you don't have stuffing, you can use cotton or you can open up a pillow or a cushion that you don't use anymore and take out some stuffing from there or you can use scrap yarn and just stuff it with yarn that you don't want to use anymore look how cute and tiny this heart is i'm gonna make so many of these for my friends for my family it's just like the perfect little stuffed toy and the pattern is very adjustable so you can just add more increases add more decreases and make this heart any size that you want i'm so happy with how mine turned out i'm going to be adding it as like a keychain on my heart bag and in the next part of the video i'm going to be showing you how to add the little wings and how to turn it into a keychain before i show you how to make the wings it's important to understand the method so that you can do both sides on your own so basically when i was making this side i attached my yarn over here and worked this way but since I'm going to be showing you on the other side, I'm going to be attaching my yarn here and working that way. Which means that I'm going to be starting with this piece of the wing first. But when I was doing this, I started with this piece first. And all you have to do is just switch the pattern and do the opposite when you're doing the other side. So I'm going to explain this in more detail as I go along. But basically get the yarn that you want to use and we're going to attach it on this side. You're going to find the side of your heart and then insert your hook through the stitch on the side and this is going to be a bit difficult to do. Just make sure you don't grab one loop, try to grab at least two to make it extra secure. And once you've got that, you're going to get the yarn that you want to use and make a little loop with it like this. And then you're going to slide the loop through the place where you want to attach your yarn. And now you're going to chain one to secure and then make this chain really really tight and now we're going to chain six so including this one we're going to be chaining five more three four five and six so that's a total of six chains and now we're going to skip this first one and we're going to insert a single crochet into the second one over here so skip go into the second one and make a single crochet and now in the other four chains we're going to be inserting one half double crochet so that's the chain you just worked into ignore it we're going to be working from this one so we're going to do one half double crochet and then another half double crochet 
and basically do four half double crochets, one in each chain. And that last one over there. Be careful with the last one, it could come undone because you're going to be pulling on the chain that basically got left here. So I'm just going to pull it to tighten again. And when you're making your rings, that's the technique that we're going to be using. We're going to chain and then we're going to be inserting stitches into that chain. So over here, if you started from here, you would only chain um, four and then over here you would chain five and then over here you chained six and then you're inserting single crochet into the second chain and then half double crochets into the rest and once you're done with one piece of the wing you're going to go into the next stitch or the next place in your heart where you want to attach the wings and then you're gonna slip stitch so to slip stitch, you take that same loop and you put it through the other loop like that. Now we're going to be starting our second wing. To do this, we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip the first chain, insert a single crochet into the second chain. And then half double crochets into the other three chains. And make sure you're keeping your chains straight so you don't accidentally work into the back of it. Just keep everything nice and straight so nothing gets twisted. And there, we're done with our second wing. Now we're going to slip stitch so you pull up a loop and then you drag that, not drag, sorry, you pull that same loop through the other one on your hook. So this is what it should look like so far and we've got only one more left to do. Now for our last wing, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to skip the first one, go into the second one, and insert a single crochet. And then half double crochets into the rest. So there's two chains left, so two half double crochets. And I really like this technique because you can adjust the size of how big your wings are by increasing the number of chains and by changing the stitch. So if you want your wings to be thinner, then just do single crochets instead of half double crochets. If you want your wings to be bigger, you can use double crochets instead of half double crochets. It's really adjustable and it's kind of similar to the way that I did the star. Then you can slip stitch and then you can fasten your work off. So slip stitch. Once you're done, you're just going to chain two and then get your scissors and just cut, pull, and just tighten. So you can just push your ends into one of the holes with your hook. Just push it in to hide it instead of leaving it in or anything. To turn your heart into a keychain, you're going to insert your hook into the middle of your heart. It would be better if you inserted it towards the back side rather than the front over here. So like I did, and then you're going to get the color that you want to use. You're going to make a little loop with it and slide the yarn through the hole like that. And then you're going to be chaining one to secure it in place. So I'm just going to hold on to this and I'm going to chain one. And now you're going to chain however many chains you want to do before you want to attach your key ring. So I'm going to chain six more to make a total of seven, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to attach it to our key ring. To do that, you're just going to place your key ring on your hook like this, and then you're just going to chain like normal. So look, I'm just going to pull it through, and there, your key ring's all attached. Then I'm going to securely fasten it off. So to do that, I'm just going to chain one, two, and then I'm going to cut and pull. And then I'm going to tighten this. There you go. That's how you turn your little heart into a keychain. And what I'm going to do with this end over here is I'm basically going to work it into my chains. So I'm just going to pull it through the loops of my chain so I can hide it basically without having to weave it in or anything. So you can do that too. It's pretty easy. You just go into your chain and you slide it through. You attach your keyring to your bag if you want to do it like mine. There's this little place over here that you can open and slide into a stitch. Slid it through, you can just adjust it and there you go. Your keychain would be attached to your bag like this.